Hi, I'm Judy Perez. That's my partner, David Hosa. And this is the Globe Elevator, which was once the biggest grain elevator in the world. We're on the western shore of Lake Superior in a part of the country that was once covered by giant, magnificent virgin pine forests. Those forests are gone now. In the 1800s, those forests were clear cut and the wood was turned into cities and buildings and grain elevators just like this one. The walls of a wooden grain elevator are made of planks like 2x6s or 2x8s stacked on top of each other. In the globe elevator there are 289 bins like this one. Six million board feet of antique old growth eastern white pine went into building this elevator. That's about 500 acres of forest. In 2006, David and I started taking apart the globe elevator in an attempt to salvage the wood. As you might imagine, turned out to be a lot harder and more expensive than we anticipated. And then we ran into a recession that drastically slowed demand for this kind of wood. We fell behind in our loan payments and now the bank is threatening to foreclose. David and I are fully prepared to walk away from our investment. What we can't walk away from is our commitment to save this wood. When the bank takes title, the Globe Elevator will most likely be demolished and plowed into a landfill. We think that would be an environmental disaster. Six million board feet of eastern white pine contains about 3,000 tons of carbon. All of that carbon would be released into the atmosphere and add to the accumulation of greenhouse gases. It would also be a terrible waste of a rare and beautiful resource. We're going to need all the help we can get to save this wood. So we hope you'll click on the button to the right of this video or go to our website, oldglobewood.com, and make a donation. Every contribution, no matter how small, will get you a piece of the Globe Elevator or a memento of its history. If you can't make a donation in dollars, you can help by spreading the word about our project to save the globe. Thank you for caring.